Hey, we got a hell of a show. We're going to talk about Tom Brady. He wants 10% of the Raiders. Mm, should he buy the Raiders? Me, personally, I don't think so. Because guess what? Seattle is moving somewhere lately. We're also going to talk about Caleb Williams. And he wants ownership to get drafted. Which is... Alright, we'll keep it for the show. Devontae Alley clearly hates the Raiders. Huh? Yeah. And we got a new Bears quarterback that nobody ever heard of. Hello, where are we back with Pac-Man Jones, Keep Crazy Company? I got Daddy-O, I got Dr. Hodge, I got my main yep. man, Evan, in the building. Hey, Ev, the biggest conversation right now is Tom Brady talking about he needs 10% in the race. Me, personally. Yeah. This is yeah. my personal opinion that yeah. me and Dr. Hodge talked about earlier, you know, because he and Daddy-O, you know, they helped me with yep. certain things, you know, my yeah. mental and my investment. I said I would wait. For Seattle to get sold to get ten percent, um, Tom Brady said he want ten percent of the Raiders right now. I'm thinking it, that's it, probably a billion dollars at ten percent, maybe. 8%. Well, that's the interesting thing is so ten percent, one hundred and seventy five million is what he wants to buy in for, which is that's so much money. One hundred and seventy five million to buy ten percent of the Raiders, yeah, which value which values the team at like one point seven five billion. But everybody's saying that's crazy because the Raiders are probably worth closer to five or six billion. But I think the other question is Tom Brady as an owner of the Raiders. Like the question I have for you, Pac, is how how big of an impact does that make on the actual product they put on the field? If Tom Brady is an owner, how does that affect the team on the field? I don't think it affects it. I think it helps it. Um, How's that? How not? You know, a guy that's with the caliber of what he's done, same thing with the Peyton Mannings. Um, um, yeah, but like, let me let me throw one example at you. Right. My, Michael Is Jordan was an owner of an NBA team, and he, you know he didn't play Michael Jordan, and they say he was a terrible owner. But that's that's way different. That's way different from a guy that's not really running the day to day that's going to motivate guys. Michael Jordan is. Uh, I, I don't know. I can't speak for this, but I don't know if Michael Jordan going in the locker room giving a pep speech. I know one thing about Tom Brady that. He would go in the locker room and give a, a, a pep speech. You know, Jordan yeah. is the caliber of, of owner that is the whole. He he owned the whole thing, so he don't he don't need too many partners. Yeah, you get what I'm yeah. saying. So I think it's a big difference in that. Um, Daddy, what do you think? Yeah, Maybe with Dr. Jordan, Hodge, should we yeah. invest this ten percent or not? Well, but, first of all, I don't understand. The man is from California. He played in Boston. Yeah. He played in Florida. And and now he wants to go to this place called Las Vegas, where it's yeah. 120 degrees. Yeah, very hot. And they have they have like a heart attack burger place. They have like all it's these delicious. buffets. Wait, wait, yep. I wait, don't, wait. No, 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 I don't I understand. Stop. I need to stop the train here, guys. Yeah, you guys know that Daddy has never been to Las Vegas, and he does not know what Las Vegas actually is. What? <laughs> Yeah, back. You want to been. tell him? You want to tell him back? It must be a very embarrassing place <laughs> because they always say, "Don't talk about Vegas." So no, they don't say like, that. They say, "Go ahead and happens, ask me, Doctor Hodge. I know you got a question for me." What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. What? What? what Pack, tell us your best Las Vegas story. What happened in Vegas? And who did, Vegas. do you want to say? <laughs> okay. okay, let it stay in Vegas. Yeah, but I, had, I, I don't, I've had a couple of good times. But I'll say that I can speak about. The best time I probably had was my first time playing at Cascada um, Golf Course. It was unbelievable. The yeah. views. That was my first time playing in, in in the desert. And now that I'm into golf. Um, Is that when you Cascada fell in love with golf? Probably my top three golf courses in the world. Man, that was not the story I was expecting to hear. Oh, uh, you were just got... in the story mm -hmm. when I went to the strip club and no. had a whole bunch of fun. <laughs> I don't <need> that. No, no. <laughs> um, but like that's it. And then that was every night. Like that, yeah. it was like the breathtaking moments or that view on that part three when I hit that birdie at Cascada. That was way better than the butt naked women. I tell you. <laughs> I tell you that too. I tell you. What? What? Again? What is the draw with the strip club uh, pack? Is it like a fashion show? What is? Daddy, -o, what do is you it, like yeah. girls? Daddy, -o is Daddy, -o, do you like girls? Yes or no? The, I like the Golden Girls as a great show. Well, he they doesn't got Golden get it. Girls yeah, in Vegas. Okay. 
Okay. I, I'll tell you my pack. I'll tell you my Las Vegas story, and it's a kind of kind of wild one. So <laughs> this Daniel, one you there, got divorced. Oh, I've been married and divorced many times in Vegas, this but thing. this time I was married, but I went by myself to Vegas, and I was performing, and there were these people called showgirls. I know, Daddy, if you know what a showgirl are, they have really tall legs and they wear hats, and there okay. were three of them, and we went, uh, we went back stage with these showgirls, and they kidnapped me. They took me to Cancun, and my wife kept calling and saying, I, I, for two months. I said, Hoji, two where months? are you? Hoji, where are you? I said, baby, these women, they won't, they have holding me hostage. Did so they I, use your I credit spent, card? It was a bald two, head, yeah. I spent two months in Cancun with those sugars, <laughs> not by my own will. I was kept without my own will. But I can tell you, because it didn't happen in Vegas, it happened in Cancun. If it happened in Vegas, it would have to stay in Vegas. Oh, my yeah. God. Hey, hey, this is Pac-Man Evan. Jones. We yeah. keep crazy company. Let, let's fast forward it. Devontae yeah. Adams. Yeah. Okay. Oh, my God. He comes it, on and talk about how Green Bay offered him way more money. He wanted to change the scene and go and see was the grass greener on the other side. I'm a Devontae Adams fan. I yep. would have never told the media this. But um, what do y'all think? Do you, like, it, it's a lot of shit that's he, going on. He, here's here's, here's the thing. The when, when, when Devontae Adams went to Las Vegas, he went to go join his old college buddy, Derek Carr. And then the Raiders got yeah. rid of Derek Carr. Yeah. And then... And then, and then Devontae's there, and the Raiders just did the same thing. They put a lot of fuck in the building. Like, what the fuck is going on, Derek Carr? Uh, yeah, yeah, why? But why not, don't not... people respect his name? Hold on, because he got he's got the skills. He just he's just not a a playoff winner, man. He can't win a playoff game. Is, he, is, is it is, is, is it personality? No, I what do you know about Derek Carr? Because I think he's a great player. He's a dog. He's, he's a, a dog. dog. He just he just he's hasn't been dog. able to get will, it done I, in the playoffs, I, I, man. He's a dog. So, so Devontae Adams, he's a guy who seems like he's in his prime. He's, uh, he's probably the number two wide receiver in the NFL if he had a quarterback that could get him the ball. But he just feels like he's wasting away in Las Vegas right now. Pack, if you were Devontae's agent, what would you tell him to do right now? He had more targets last year. He was second, second target in the NFL last year. I think second overall in um, yards. He, he frustrated. Yeah. He can't win and can't get the ball. I'm fucking pissed. Yeah, He's fucking target me every play if we're not winning. Yeah. So at a point, what you got to take? Let's go fucking work. At a point, tell me if you think I'm just crazy. Like, try to figure out a, a situation where maybe you take less money but a better situation. No, fuck that. <laughs> no, okay. no, Never. Here's what hey, I don't get. Right. I'm taking yeah, less yeah. money or what? No. Not the OG. I'm taking less money. No way. He gonna take all the money back. <laughs> just go. We need that money. We need the money. We work He's, hard, didn't we, Daddy O? We do we good did. things with the money. We, did. we go. I, we go out to I, eat with one the of money. My... We drive the car with the money. What? Yeah. Yeah. We go shopping with the money. We buy this. This. I with mean, the money. Pac-Man owns ten percent of this show. I mean, that was the deal that I arranged. That I have ninety percent, but Pac-Man has it still has nine ten percent, which is a lot of money, which cost wow. him one point two dollars. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good deal. Yeah. Hey, another, cra another crazy thing. Speaking of quarterbacks, right? Um, do the what the bear? What, what are we? Are we? Yeah. What are we doing the with the Bears, bro? Yeah. Like, oh my God. What are they in hibernation? Yeah. He, just, to me, Justin is an unbelievable quarterback. There's a lot of things going on in Chicago that is. Yeah, now, we have a new quarterback. They come from a D2 college. I've Undrafted never heard free of free agent. Yeah. Which, I'm not saying he's a bad player. Because if you came from a D2 college and a free agent, you got to be pretty good. Yeah. Right. Kenny Anderson. What are the Bears doing, bro? I'm just saying, like, there's a lot of quarterbacks out there that's... Whoa. <laughs> I know. What was that? He fears about the bear situation. <laughs> I, I think he just, he's fighting off a bear. Do the, like do the bears have their feet stuck in a honey pot? Are the bears walking around with a donkey? Are the bears hanging out with the rabbits? Sorry. So you know, so like so here's first. the deal. Ty, his name is Tyson the bears Badgett. Let me, let's, let's get back to it. Yeah, what are the bears, the bears doing? Bear, yeah. We don't his name is his name is. Tyson Badgent, and he uh, was, like, like you said, he was undrafted free agent out of a Division II school. 
Um, he's going to be playing. It looks like he's going to. He's 23 years old. Oh, he's going to be yeah. playing this weekend. Yeah. And, Tyson um, Badgett sounds like the name of a fictional Boy Scouts yeah. in a teen <laughs> novel. Yeah, it does. Can you give us any news on this guy? Tyson he went Badgett. to a place called Shepherd. He's uh, 6'3", 215. He's wearing oh, number 17. Big boy, big boy, big boy. Big boy. Yeah. And uh, it's actually, uh, Daddy O and Doctor Hodge uh, put together. Yeah, yeah. Wait a second, but, but, but two you know, and look for his sake, he's going to be playing against the Las Vegas Raiders this weekend. So uh, you know, if you if you know, probably stay a good away from the showgirls, Tyson. Imagine <laughs> who y'all gonna bet with. I'll put the whole. I'll bet the whole farm on Vegas, dude. Vegas, what? baby, Vegas. Yeah, Put the house on them. Let's go. Let's go. Caleb Williams, uh, I seen in the news, said yeah. when he get drafted, he wants on he the a percent yeah. of the team. Yeah, hey, that's son, the report. And I'm just saying, like, I love that attitude. I love that idea. But, hey, man, there's going to be more motherfuckers that are better than you or yeah. even that's been drafted that's been better than you. Like, you're not going to percent of the fucking team. We don't even know what you can do in the yeah. NFL. So, a so college quarterback that's really good. And 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 you can't just come in and demand this unless you're Tom Brady. Well, so my question is this, right? Has there ever been a, a, a number one overall pick that has had so much power that he could have actually leveraged an NFL team to give him a percentage? Like, I, I don't even. I can't even say right now he's the best quarterback. In the, yeah. In the who who might be better? Not, Washington. Not only, yeah. Hmm. Shallow. Yeah. 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 So like, was Burrow he, better than he is? Was Burrow in his when he got picked was better than than he is? No. I hear you say it again, Doctor Hart. Joe Burrow was Wait, he a better to... prospect? Was he a better prospect? Joe Burrow? Hell was Joe no, Bur- he ain't no Joe Burrow. No, he, he ain't, ain't hell no. He do not like, bro. Joe Burrow is special, bro. Like Joe Burrow. Yeah, but Burrow, but Burrow only had one great year. If Joe Burrow was in the main fucking market. He'd be the best quarterback in the NFL right now. Yeah. <laughs> Any other market, we wouldn't, we didn't, it wouldn't even Hold be on. a debate. We, we've given Joe Burrow a, a percentage of our hearts. Okay, so so wait, let me ask you a question, right? Because there are also reports that Patrick Mahomes wants to be an NFL owner at some point. Oh and that dude, you know, a lot of people say, aside from the Cincinnati people in this show, that, Joe, that Patrick Mahomes is the best quarterback in the NFL, maybe the best quarterback of his generation. Do you think he has the ability, the leverage to go and get a percentage ownership of the Kansas City Chiefs right now? I do. I do think yeah. he have the leverage because of the championships. He's been the AFC championship back to back to back to back to back. Yeah. So that's different than a kid coming out from college and demanding something from college. Patrick Mahomes, he should. Like He's it, the face it, of the it, team. He should. Um, same way, me personally, I think Peyton Manning should have had some ownership with the Colts. You get yeah. what I'm saying? So yeah. I, I do agree with that. And Tom Brady with the Patriots. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I think that goes a, a long way with the team base. Um, right. I personally don't agree with Tom. Well, I shouldn't say Tom because Tom got to do what's right by Tom money. But if I was the owner of the Patriots, I'd be like, hey, bro, I'll give you that same deal for half of that money you're talking about. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So that, <laughs> I that's think, how I feel about this. I think it's the worst possible time, Pac, because quarterback play has never been worse in the NFL, I mean, in the past, you know, whatever, 10 years. They're having, so I mean, the value of quarterbacks now with the way these pass rushers and these corners are playing, I feel like the value of quarterbacks has gone down this year. Well, the values of quarterbacks are never going to go down. But what you got to realize now is when Tom then was playing, motherfuckers was getting killed. So you could hit yeah. a motherfucker any kind of way. Now you can yeah. throw, like, if you throw a fucking slant in the linebacker right there and I'm fucking getting killed, I'm coming back to the huddle. So like, what the fuck? Now yeah. these days, they can barely fucking touch you. Yeah. So yeah. guess what? It's way more easy to make these throws. And the quarterback value would never get down, bro. Like, yeah. look across the league. That's what I'm good saying. Good fucking teams have good quarterbacks. Every team that's mediocre got mediocre quarterbacks. Mediocre, and yeah. the teams that got good quarterbacks with people around them that's playing mediocre right now, when you get to week 16, this shit is going to be a whole lot different. And it yeah, shows exactly. every fucking year. Yeah. You go to San Francisco. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Irrelevant, but when he fucking on, he's on. When he's healthy, yeah. he's fucking good. Cincinnati, Joe Burrow ain't played all season, preseason. But when he get ready these last yeah. two weeks, he's fucking throwing it. He, he's hurts. In Philly, yeah. 
He's Lamar. Ready. Yeah, he's Lamar. Don't forget Lamar. Here and there. What do you, let me ask you a question, Pac. Well, like, let me ask you your, your honest, give me uh, 60 seconds of honesty. Russell Wilson. Ooh. Yeah. He's chubby. He dip. He don't got old. It's time to hang it up. Oh. It's time to hang it up. I love Interesting. Russ as a person. That's, we, we're cool. He's a great guy. Um, He's cooked. You know how it is, Ev. Like, yeah. Some guys get caught up in shaking everybody's hands than fucking reading the play, playbook. Um, me, personally, I, I come from a different class. I've never changed. I'm never going to change. If Wait, are you right, saying that I'll he's say shaking right. hands instead shit, of playing? I talk shit everywhere. And some guys are just mannequins, I would say. And I think it's to the point now he got enough money to be a mannequin. And some guys do that. And that's that's their, per se, their uh, personality or per se, uh, how they handle things. And um, that's just that's the situation where that is. Like, he don't play football no more. It's, it's more about marketing. And, yeah, uh, and ride. manicures. I, I hope ride. he does have the money for the manicure. Yeah. Hey, I mean, have you ever had a manicure, Dadio? No, but I get, but I get one every week. But uh, I mean, yeah. Russell, yeah. Haji knows what's up. Yeah. <laughs> hey, this a is Man Jones. We keep crazy company. We thank y'all for tuning in today, Dadio, Doctor Hodge, my yeah. main man. Yeah. If y'all tune in with us next week, shout out to Land of Illusion. I'm gonna be there tomorrow. Check me out. Uh, about 10, 30, 11. Okay. Honey house and a little performance. Smell me. We smell it. <laughs> smell it. <laughs>